Jen Aniston's. Not all celebrities do that. Mm, Ooh, yes. So, oh, look at this. What is up, my people? Welcome to yet another celebrity hair care routine. Today, we are going to be testing out Jen Aniston's silicone free, sulfate free hair care routine for frizz free results. <laughs> These are all products by the brand Leaving Proof, specifically the no frizz. And of course, the first step is shampoo. As the name suggests, promises to stop frizz and gently cleanse the hair. So the background story behind Living Proof and Jen Aniston is that she used to be the spokesperson. You guys may remember that back in the 90s, of course, Jennifer became very, very popular, mostly because of the huge success she had with friends. Currently, even to Jennifer's surprise, everything Jennifer did to her hair, all magazines were writing about. First, the Rachel cut, then then she wore extra long extensions and then she did the lob. So it actually made a total sense to me to learn that she would join forces with Living Proof. And she did not only promote the Living Proof products, but she also took it a step further and around 2012 she started to co-own the company it means to me that she truly believed in the company not all celebrities do that and sadly around 2016 just around the time that Unilever purchased the company and Jennifer stopped being involved with this brand altogether but at the time that the no freeze line was launched Jennifer was very much involved so I guess it's safe to say that every single product within this line is Jennifer Aniston approved. After all, she did stand by these products for a very long time and hasn't had such a strong association with other hair care brands, at least not until today. She seems like one of those quite rare, genuine, down to earth celebrities that most likely did use the products she promoted. I don't know, call me naive. So anyways, let's jump right into the shower and use the no phrase shampoo to see how good or bad this works. All right, so let me give you my first impressions on this shampoo. So it has a very creamy texture, which does remind me of other anti-frizz shampoos that I've tried in the past and that have actually delivered frizz-free results for me. So that seems promising. I find it very satisfying when my shampoo lathers. This one lathers very nicely. Not too much that I would think like, is this like good old plain detergent, uh, but not too little that I think mm, it's not doing enough for me, if that makes sense. Not that it promises to, but just in case you are curious, it doesn't seem to hydrate the hair on its own. At least not that I can tell this far, and it did not do much for my tangles. In fact, they look pretty bad. Now that said, it is a shampoo, so normally you wouldn't expect that from a shampoo. So, so far, so good. Let's move on to step two, which is, of course, the Living Proof No Phrase Conditioner. If you've been around for a while, you may already know that I kind of have a love-hate relationship with conditioners. On average, I would say 80%, maybe even more, maybe 90% of conditioners just don't do enough for me. I guess you could say I am more of a deep conditioner uh, kind of girl. The exact same packaging. I really like their packaging because it opens like so. Although I must confess that I really want to start seeing a lot more pumps in my hair care products, especially when it comes to high-end ones. Are you guys pro pump or against it? So a good tip that I picked up along the way to make conditioner a little bit more concentrated or stronger is to apply it on towel dried hair. All the water in the soaking wet hair will further dilute the action of the conditioner. So that's why I'm applying it right here. I'm also going to leave this on for five minutes. If you want to do it differently, please, you do you. Oof, that smells nice. The shampoo didn't smell like much. Ooh, okay. I like this. It is, I would say, more on the thicker side of conditioner. It's not as 
liquid very nice surprise so I'm gonna just apply it a little bit like I would a mask I'm gonna be very generous because that's the way uh-huh uh -huh. I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer to five minutes. I'm really hoping this is going to help this conditioner do its absolute best and that is going to tame my mane like no other. So don't go anywhere because we still have two more leaving styling products to test out from this line and we're gonna decide side by side which one is best. So for those of you guys who really enjoy knowing just a little bit more about the ingredients, this contains ceteryl alcohol, which is a hydrating type of alcohol. It also contains citric acid and hydrolyzed wheat protein. The other thing that I noticed in the full ingredients list is that the fragrance is that the fragrance is actually you know a little bit higher it's still in the bottom section of the full ingredients list but it's a little bit higher than I normally see it does make sense to me because it has a powerful fragrance and don't get me wrong I am not against having some type of perfume or fragrance I love that on my hair care as long as it doesn't hurt my hair in other ways so as you guys just heard time is up I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I'm gonna be back to try those styling products. All right, here we are. Let me just remove my aqueous turban and we can see what's going on here. This is not half bad for a conditioner. I was expecting it to do a little to nothing for my tangles and it's actually very good. Was it the conditioner or was it the application trick that I showed you guys? Well, I guess you decide. But I'm still going to go in with my Tangle Teaser. And now, yes, finally, step three. The step that I'm actually most curious about. We are going to be testing out not one, but two styling products. Compare side by side which one works best for my hair. So on this side, I'm going to be applying this tiny one right here. This is the Leave-In Proof No Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream. This one promises to stop frizz just like the rest of the line and lightly condition the hair, which may actually come handy to give me that deep conditioned look that I usually go for and this time we just used conditioner. And on this side, the Living Proof No Frizz Weightless Styling Spray. So spray versus cream. The spray one actually comes across as more promising and even slightly cocky because <laughs> it says right here at the front, stops frizz, period. Okay, weightlessly blocks humidity, smooths without buildup and no heavy silicones or oils. So if you are a silicone free girl, this is definitely for you. And I feel like I never get to say that on this channel since I do test out so many products, especially living products that contain silicones. Definitely makes me happy to have a silicone free alternative. Just as long as it works and does the job. So it says apply generously. Yes, I love license to be generous. To clean damp hair from roots till the end and then comb through. When you squeeze Oof. the product out, it actually comes out as fettuccine. So I'm going to be very, very generous. Okay. There we go. Now moving on to the spray. So it says here, spray generously. You coat the hair from roots to end with the spray and then comb through. And then it says it eliminates frizz by blocking humidity, repels dirt to keep hair cleaner longer comb through and of course to actually style my hair the allure 2020 award winner this is the hot tools one step hair dryer and honestly i don't know if jen uses this particular hair dryer or not what i do know is that chris mcmillan loves to give jen a very nice blowout in fact we did try jennifer aniston's kind of air dry textured routine with the drunk elephant style products. I'm gonna link that video in case you are curious right here in the eye corner. This time we're going for the full glam. You're so wild. I'm not gonna 
wanna fight it hypnotized stuck inside my mind all right this is looking very promising very smooth and frankly a lot softer than i was expecting let's do this side and uh, see if it's even better Alright, before we move on into the bigger challenge, which is of course the top layers which are more damaged and crazier, at least in my case, I wanted to show you guys cream versus spray here and see if we have anything to say so far. Okay, so far I would be lying if I said I noticed any significant difference between both sides. They both look pretty smooth to me. So let's continue with the tougher portion of my hair and see if I can see a bigger difference there. You're so wild. I'm not gonna fight. Replay in my mind of you things you wanna do to me. It's hot in here. Ta -da! So cream versus spray. Which one do you think won? FYI, none of these seem to be a heat protectant at least they don't claim to be on the packaging but i put that out there in case you guys are looking for something that is a heat protectant i am loving this result for a silicone free routine this is really good frizz control it has to be the very first silicone free anti-frizz routine that i've ever tried yes I am pretty sure it is. That said, flyaways are pretty out of control on both sides, but I think more on the cream side. Expectations-wise, I did have a favorite. Uh, so I have to say this is actually an unexpected result. When I look side by side at both ends, I feel that this side with the cream is actually smoother, softer, silkier, side of the spray seems a little bit drier to me. Wow, maybe even 50% drier than this side. No, I am not a biochemist and I'm not sure if these two things are linked, but the spray one contains alcohol denet. But if it was the alcohol, since it is the first ingredient in the bottle, it would make sense. And let's check the shine on both sides. That said, the side with the weightless spray actually feels just a tad flatter. This side kind of kept a little bit more of the movement. The perfect product for me would be one that gives me the results of a nourishing cream, but in a spray bottle. So here's what I think. If you have dry hair like me, you will find a little bit more hydration and deep conditioning action in the nourishing styling cream right here. But if your hair is more on the oilier side, you may find the leaving proof weightless styling spray more suitable. In fact, it does say repels dirt and keeps hair cleaner longer. And I think those are actually great qualities in a product, especially when it comes to oily hair type. Here's my final conclusion. As an entire routine, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Tuned because I have yet to try the BC Bonacure Keratin Smooth, the entire line. I've tested out just the mask before and I, oh my god, that was amazing for frizz control. And also have yet to try the very much requested Kerastas Discipline Oleo Relax line. So this was so much fun. I really enjoyed testing out all these Jennifer Aniston approved hair care. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried them. I can absolutely see myself incorporating this product and using this routine some other time. If you've also tried these hair care products yourself, please do share your review in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys think. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me here today. I will catch up with you guys again on my next one. Ciao! Mm. Do you want to follow me? Click here.